Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello everyone and welcome to MyZone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is My School and Summer. And before we get into any lessons, boys and girls, it's important for us to sanitize. So take your sanitizer and rub your hands. Remember, when we sanitize, we are showing everyone that we are responsible boys and girls and we care about staying far from coronavirus. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Well done. For today's lesson, we will be talking about a word search, pronouns and verbs. For our first exercise for today, boys and girls, let us turn to page 21. On page 21, we have a word search. Yay! And it is all about summer. And it is going to be our job to read the words in the box below and then look for them in the word search. So let us read the box below. Please repeat after me. Beach, beach, bike, bike, camp, camp, fire, fire, heat, heat, hike. Hike, lake, lake, pool, pool, sand, sand, summer, summer. Now, these are the words that we have defined. If you read them with me, well done. Good job. So, I would like to start by helping you with at least one of the words. And the word I want to help you with is the word fire. So, we are going to look for the word fire together. Let's take a look at the board. Now, fire starts with a f. So, I'm going to try and find it here, and I want you to try and find it in your booklet as well. So, we are going to start. Let's look for f. Now, you can start going across looking or down. I'm going to use down. So, I'm looking for f, and I found one. But I can't see an I next to or around this so this one is not our word. Let's keep looking for another F. There we go. Looking, 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 searching, 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 searching. I found an F. So I'm going to see if there are any eyes around it. That's not an eye. That is not an eye. But this is an eye. 
So I have if I, what comes next? We have an R. So if I, and I see an R, and I see an E. So that means we have found our word fire. And this one is actually going up. So we circle it neatly. And that is our word fire. The next word that I want to help you look for is the word pool. So you're going to look for the word pool and I'm going to look for it here. Let's go. Now the word pool starts with P. So this time instead of going down, I'm going to start at the top. So we are looking for a P. I found a P, but the next letters are O for OO. So there is no O here. Let me keep looking. Another P. Where are you? Mr. P. Oh, I found another one, but there's no O around that one either. So let us take a look at a different P. Mr. P. Oh, I found another one, but there's only one O and the word pool has double O. So that is not ours. So let us keep looking. Let us keep looking. There we go. And still looking. Oh, I found another P, but there is no O near it. So this is not our P. So let us continue. Down, down, down. Oh, I found another P. And this one, there's an O near it. So let me look for another O. And it's there as well. And we have an L. So we have the word pool across like this going up. So these are your words. Let's take a look at your exercise. Now, remember, in your exercise, you need to find all the words that are there. Make sure that you circle them. And when you do find them, please make sure that you cross them out in the word box so that you don't go and look for them again. I want to show you the two that I help you find in the beginning. <laughs> So, these were the words that we were looking for. We have the word pool here starting and it goes up and across. And then we also have the word fire and it also goes across. Make sure that when you are doing your words, they are neat. And don't worry if other letters are going to be shared because there are some words that might share letters. Have fun. I will see you just now and let's now turn to page 22. On page 22, we have another exercise. This one is all about pronouns. Everybody, let's say pronouns. Now, if you don't know what a pronoun is, I can tell you. A pronoun is a word that is used to replace a noun in a sentence or when we are speaking. Now we all know the different types of nouns that we have and when we replace a noun with a pronoun, there are certain pronouns that we use. If you look at the box below, we have pronouns. I want us to read those pronouns together. Let's start. We have they, her, him, it, we, she, he, and them. So these are the pronouns that we are going to use to rewrite the sentences. Now the instruction says we need to choose from the box and replace the underlined word in the sentence. For all 10 of these, there is a word or two words that have been underlined, which means we are going to get rid of both of those words 
when we replace them with pronouns. Let's start with number one. Number one says, my father called me. So I went to see my father. The word underlined there or the words underlined there are my father. Now we know that fathers are men. So we are going to be focusing on either using the pronoun him or he. Let's try and use the word he to replace my father. Let's read the sentence again. My father called me, so I went to see he. No, that doesn't sound right. Let us try and use him. My father called me, so I went to see him. That sounds correct. So for number one, we are going to use the pronoun him. Let's do number two. Remember though, for number one, you need to first rewrite the sentence and then where you get to the part where it is underlined, instead of using those words, we will now use him. Do not forget your capital letters at the beginning and your full stop at the end when you rewrite the sentence. Let us go to number two. Number two says, I told the children that I could meet the children in the playground. Now, when we have many people like we have here, it's either we use they or them. So let us try with they first. We are going to replace the word the children with the word they. Let us read. I told the children that I could meet they in the playground. No, this does not sound right at all. Why don't we try and use the word them? So now we are going to replace the word the children, the one that is underlined, with the word them. Let's now read it. I told the children that I could meet them in the playground. Yes, this is the correct answer. So now you need to rewrite the sentence using the correct word. Now remember to put a capital letter where it needs to be and a full stop at the end. Let us do number three together. Number three says, the girls broke the window. We are going to be replacing the girls with a pronoun. Now, it seems like there are a lot of people, so we are going to use either they or them again. So we are going to say, they. Let's replace the girls with they and see if our sentence makes sense. They broke the window. Yes, it makes sense. So we are going to write our number three, rewriting it by using the word they. Remember to put a capital letter at the beginning of a sentence and a full stop at the end. Let us do number four together. Number four says, I saw the book on the table. The word we are going to replace there, or words, is the book. Now remember, boys and girls, we said that if it is not a human being, we use the word it. So, we are going to say, I saw it on the table. 
The rest of these sentences you can do by yourselves. Take your time. Remember sometimes our pronouns, we can use them again and again. We only have eight pronouns that we have been given. So there are 10 sentences, meaning some pronouns are going to be used again and again. Take your time, read each word, and if there is a word you cannot read, sound it out. And even after that, if there are words you don't understand, it's okay to ask for help. I will see you just now after our short advert break. Do you have children in the age range of 5 to 6 years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 81 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. For our next activity, please turn to page 23. On page 23, we have a beautiful butterfly and it is going to be your job to underline the verbs. Now remember, verbs are doing words. So you need to ask yourself before you underline any, am I able to? And then you underline it. If you are able to, then that means it is a verb. After underlining all the verbs, you are now going to circle the pronouns. Remember, a pronoun is a word that can be used to replace a noun. So the first thing we need to do is underline the verbs. When you are done with underlining the verbs and circling the pronouns, the next thing that you need to do is to color the verbs and pronouns according to the colors. Now we can see at the bottom we have been given words that have specific colors. If you see the word we, then you are going to color that part of the butterfly brown. If you see the word she or he, you are going to color those words and that part of the butterfly red. You are going to continue this and be careful when you are coloring, take a good look at the bottom so that you don't get lost. I have mine here and I'm almost done. The first thing I did was to circle all my verbs, circle all my pronouns and I also made sure that my verbs were underlined. I also started coloring. I saw that the pink ones were the words stand and sit. So I colored those. And then the word we was in brown. So I colored that part of the butterfly. And lastly, I saw that the words laugh and cry we're going to be orange. I'm not yet done, but I'm sure you are going to be done with yours and it will be very beautiful and you will have a lovely butterfly. Take your time and I will see you after our commercial break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We are now done with all of our exercises for today. I hope your butterfly looks so beautiful, boys and girls. Remember, the colors are there to guide you on what it should look like. Now that we are done, it is important for us to sanitize. Remember, boys and girls, we sanitize so that we can stay safe and make sure other people around us are also safe. Remember to dry your hands before you touch anything else. Well done. 
I actually want to go outside and see some real butterflies. So I'm going to take off my glasses and put on my summer shades so that the sun won't hurt my eyes. And I'm going to invite Sashi. Sashi, where are you? Let's go see some butterflies. Sashi. <laughs> Hello, Sashi. Would you like to go and see some butterflies with me? Oh, yes. Wonderful. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus.